my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be me recreating the AHA Honey Palette from Colourpop. Not really recreating but doing one look in that color scheme inspired by that palette, sort of, okay? So this is the look I came up with and I'm happening to be really really excited about that look. I think it's super pretty, it turned out so well and I'm gonna use so many palettes and I'm of course going to show you in the video itself then all the palettes that I'm gonna use it has been a lot <laughs> but maybe maybe um, I think it was worth it <laughs> all right so if you're interested in seeing what I did there then just keep on watching Okay, hi my lovies, it's time to do a look and um, as you know from the intro today I want to do a AHA Honey palette by Colourpop inspired look and it is really, it's not a total recreation because I don't have those shadows that are in, those, in that palette but I want to sort of go in that line and it is going to be a bit of a video that is like five palettes one look instead of one palette five looks <laughs> because I really have to... Uh, yeah, dig through my whole collection in order to find shades that are sort of similar. So uh, it's mostly going to be certified. There is going to be maybe a little bit of color drain and a little bit of BH Cosmetics. So we shall see. Anyway, um, I think I want to start out with the certified Destiny palette because there is this one shade right here, which is called Brew. And a similar shade like this is in the in the AHA Honey palette, even though in the AHA Honey palette, that is such a long name, it is a shimmer or a metallic or something like that. But I'm just going according to the colors because I don't like the darkest shade to be a shimmer or a metallic and that is the darkest shade in the palette as far as I remember. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to do something with this. I think what the plan is for today is maybe a half cut crease. Um, I'm not really 100% settled yet, but I do feel that maybe that could be a very nice look. Okay, the next shade I want to use is from the Tropical Wonders palette, also from Certify, and it is actually this one, the shade Dusk, and it sort of leans into this whole like mustard kind of a yellowish brown. It's a weird color. I would probably not even use that on its own if it would not be for the recreation of this look or if it would not be for a like a special kind of a color challenge look or something. This, this is not really a color that super super speaks to me unless maybe together with a sausage. <laughs> Anyway, it is a nice color. It's just unusual. It's not something that I'm super drawn to naturally. So I'm just going to place this here in the middle. And then we shall see. I do feel that this that this whole concept of the Aha Honey palette though, even though I think there is some depth missing regarding the mattes, but I do feel that the the um the whole idea is interesting. And um, it's still a little bit, um, if I were to create a yellow palette, I would want to include a little bit more like a bright, real, real yellow. But I do realize that, of course, the AHA Honey Palette in that sense is not a real yellow palette. It's a honey palette, right? So, so that is one thing. And then, of course, there are a lot of like champagne neutrals in that, which I maybe would have skipped most of them. Maybe I would have put in one, but I think there is a little bit too much of that going on but um, but uh, yeah and it really doesn't matter what I think here so uh, we're just gonna try to create a look in that line the next shadow I want to use is from the affinity palette also from certify and it's this shade here it is sort of a hybrid between orange and yellow it is sort of it's a very very light orange but a little bit murky it's if it feels like if you go back to this shade here that we just used, it sort of feels like it is related. I don't know if it comes across on camera um, that they are sort of in the same direction. You know, they're not like pure, pure bright colors. They're both a little bit different, like me. <laughs> a little bit different. Okay, I'm gonna take this on a smaller brush just because it is a smaller area that I'm working with here and I'm going to place that here at the inner part of my crease. 
So as you can see for right now, I'm just placing the colors where I want them so I get an idea of what I'm working with and how the whole color scheme is coming together. And that always helps me then to figure out how I want to blend and you know what I want to use for blending and all of these things. So now in order to blend everything a little bit more, um, I think I want to go into the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette um, because, you know, the yellow right here, let me just show you, is a little bit more like a sunshine yellow. Uh, if you compare it with those yellows in the Certified palette, they are a little bit more neon-like, a little bit more super bright and I don't want that I want a little bit more of a hint of that honey character also in the other palette um, it's also very very bright yellow in the certified palette which was the tropical wonders and the other one the affinity uh, yeah so I think I'm gonna go for this yellow <laughs> and let's see if I'm gonna live to regret this but um, I think I just want to sort of fluff out the whole look towards the top with that yellow just to get a hint of that in and see what that does. Okay, I'm pretty okay with the with the yellow, I think, but I want to go back into that mustard kind of a shade from the Tropical Wonders palette, the shade Dusk, and just place that also here. Uh, between the brown and the yellow in order to blend out the brown and Also then apply it here or reapply it here in the middle so we don't lose that because we lost it a little bit now uh, by applying that yellow Okay, next thing I'm gonna go back into the dynasty. What is it dynasty destiny destiny palette into the shade brew with a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna bring back the uh, brown. <laughs> this is honestly how it is every single time I do my makeup. I apply just for the shadows, the placement. Then I try, I start blending, and then I'm basically blending one way up, and then I'm going through all the shades again, backwards, sort of, in order to not lose them. So I think that is really what most of the of the work is, you know. So here I'm going to just put that brown back into position and sort of blend it into the mustard and into the yellow a little bit in the greatest hope that we're not going to lose those shades and I have to start all the blending from the beginning. <laughs> But I think it's looking pretty good. I think, honestly, that I'm not going to go for the uh, half cut crease that I thought initially I would do. I think I'm just going to have this whole look a little bit smoother and just, you know, put some some shimmers on, on my lid. And I'm going to show you in a second which, one, which ones I'm thinking of. Before we put on the shimmers, I, I just actually thought that we can get some help from another shade or even two potentially from this from this palette here from Certify because right now we have used this brew shade and we have used the, the mustard shade from the Tropical Wonders and we have used right here the yellow from the uh, Vivid Pigments palette from Colored Rain and I think that if we were to put this or even this shade between the brew and the uh, mustard shade that could actually be really really helpful because it's sort of like a stepping stone between those shades so that's exactly what I'm doing right here and I'm trying to not go too much over that brown so I don't lose that again but just have this little helpful middle step here in order to blend out that brown towards the yellow and I think we're still keeping within that range of the honey look so I'm pretty pretty okay okay next thing is gonna be the shimmers and for that I want to take the solar flare palette from BH cosmetics which looks like this and as you can see there is a whole range of, of shadows that we can use and I think actually that I want to use this one and this one this one probably more towards the inside of my my inner eyelid <laughs> and uh, then this one so let's just see we're gonna we're gonna try <laughs> okay like like I said initially I wanted to do a half cut crease but I think I'm just gonna 
fluff it out just like that and I'm gonna spray my brush I have not used this palette in such a long time so it's actually nice to have a, a real occasion like an official occasion to use this palette again and see if it still works <laughs> all right let's put on this first shade which is super super light and this one I really I just want to keep that here in the like even less than a third I think even less than a third of the of the lid I think this is nice this is gonna be nice <laughs> Next I want to go in with the shade Fireball, which is this one, and it has a bit of a more orangey kind of a, I don't know, hint to it. It's not a real gold as far as I can tell, because I think the, the one next to it is more of a gold than this one. So I want to use this, the more orangey one. And again, I'm spraying my brush. I do think these shadows apply almost a little bit better just with your finger. I might just put another layer after I'm done here. I think I might put another another layer just let's just try that. <laughs> Why should I talk so much about it and then not do it? Yeah. So I think you can see the difference that these shadows really really apply much better with the fingers. So I think that's that's what it's going to be. I might go in and just take that first shade, which was the one in beam, this one right here, and just drag it a little bit more over the fireball shade. But in general, I think this is sort of the look that I was going to go for. Okay, so this is how it's going to look, I think, and I will now just do my, my eyeliner and my foundation, contour and all of that, and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the lower lash line together. Okay, welcome back. My foundation is done and the contour and all of that. I still have to find something for my lips. My lips look so bad because they're like half smeared with foundation, but that's normal life. Anyway, um, I think... I think for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back into that mustard shade from the Tropical Wonders palette, the shade Dusk, and I'm gonna use that on a pencil brush. And I'm going to, first of all, I have to pat out the creases on, <laughs> everything is creasing, which is normal. Like, don't, let's not kid ourselves, you know, it's normal. We are not 10 years old. All right, so this is, I think what I'm imagining I want to have this sort of like two-thirds of the way I want to have this shade the mustard shade it sort of feels like I have not ever given this shade any consideration and now I'm really liking it so I want to have it everywhere <laughs> okay so that is what the plan is and then um, towards the to it to meet it here I think I want to just use that the dark brown maybe again so let's let's just see let's build this one up a little bit and then go back to the I forgot already dynasty or destiny the destiny palette and use that now I need another pencil brush I have such a big brush use it's really huh. Okay, so soon I'm gonna have to hire a person just to wash brushes every single day. All right, so this is gonna be the shade Brew. I like this. And also in my um, on my waterline, I used a golden pencil, which is from NYX. It is, I think it's just called, called Gold. It's, yeah, it's just called Gold. And that is what I have on my waterline okay so this is I'm gonna build this up a little bit more here and smudge it into the mustard and then we're just gonna blend it out towards the bottom and then we're basically more or less done I'm just using that mustard shade now to blend everything together and sort of smudge it also a little bit towards the bottom 
And you know what? What is my personal experience when uh, concealer and foundation creases under my eyes? Before I put uh, the eyeshadow under my lower lash line, I tap it down so I'm getting rid of the creases for that moment. And once I set it with the eyeshadows, I'm usually fine. And it does not, it, the creases don't come back. At least for the time being, I don't know, in a couple years it might be different. But um, if you might want to try if that helps you. But for me, it absolutely works that um, the creases don't come back. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to... Wait, we have to still do something for the inner corner. And I still have to finish the second eye. So we're going to do that. For the inner corner, I'm just going to use uh, this shade right here. The shade Tonic, Tonic from the uh, Destiny palette. And I'm gonna place this right here and it is sort of basically more or less the same shade as that one from the the inner one sort of not a hundred percent but uh, leaning obviously into the same direction as does all of the shades as no as do all of the shades in this look obviously because it is like a one themed look so that's that's obviously expected okay so that's the inner corner and now I'm just going to finish my my lashes and all of that and um, I'm going to come back with the finished look. Okay my girls, this is the finished look. I must say that I'm actually, I'm sort of surprised and I'm not surprised how nice it is because I, I wanted to do this look because I obviously liked the idea of the color scheme of that honey brown I don't know it's it's such a nice warm look that I really really wanted to do that on the other hand it is sort of always still shocking for me that I like to work with colors that are not blue and green and purple that it is that I'm allowing myself to be this and uh, I love it <laughs> besides that though I have such a mess of palettes here right in front of me I am not used to work with like 10 palettes or what what did we use we used four five palettes or something like this for this look which is crazy I don't like that I'd rather have like I don't mind to use two palettes or something but that that is a bit much i don't like this this craziness but um i think it was worth it uh, let me know what you think um if you see something white here it's still because my lash glue is maybe not 100 percent dry yet but i have to finish off this video because i have to go and wake up my kids um anyway so i'm wearing my lily lashes in the style hollywood and um this is this is still the pair that is half fallen apart and there is already like here at the outer corner there is already like a chunk of hair missing but I think I can I can still get away with it because of course my lashes are making up for it and they're st they're so beautiful and I, I just cannot let go yet then I had told you already about the uh, eyeliner pencil on my lower lash line anyway you find everything in the description box anyway uh, and then of course uh, we used a lot of certified products so this was the the destiny palette which we used and we used the affinity palette wait there's so much stuff going on I'm telling you so that is the affinity palette right here that we also used and then we used the tropical wonders palette and then we used the color drain palette oh my goodness it's too much we used the yellow from here and we used the BH cosmetic solar flare palette and we used these two shades from this one which is also really really nice so how many are those this is like one two three four five palettes five palettes one look and you know what while I was browsing now through my my palettes because I was looking for something else while I was uh, off camera I actually found this one the Morphe and Shecklin Hill Vault collection um, and I thought this one could also make a look like this you know and it's basically more or less in one palette so maybe next time I'll look for this one <laughs> but it is a nice experience and you know what it is actually a valuable valuable well wow. valuable valuable how do you say that <laughs> you know what I mean it is a good experience in the sense of talking myself out of getting that palette because basically I can sort of achieve the same look without having that palette because everything in me um, <laughs> wants to have all of those monochromatic palettes from Colourpop and I really I feel like I want to get at least the blue one and I want the green maybe not so much but the purple one and the pink one and the orange one but maybe maybe I should do looks with 
all of those color schemes and just convince myself that I really don't need it. But maybe I do. <laughs> anyway, all right. So what, what else do I need to show you? For blush, I used my Morphe Cool Pro uh, blush palette. I used this shade right here, which is called Free. I used my regular bronzer and contour and all of that. I'm not going to waste time on that. And I used my favorite. It is probably my cheapest, but not my cheapest, but my most favorite highlight, which is this one. It's the Cubanita Highlighter from Essence. And that came out, I think, last year. So it must at least be two years old because we get the Essence releases apparently always one year later. So this is a super blinding, what I consider super blinding highlight in gold, which I think it is super flattering and super nice, super buildable, and it smells really, really good. And then for lips, I used the Sakara number 018. And it actually looks in like in real life on on the bullet, bullet lipstick. It, I think it looks a little bit more leaning towards the brown than when it is applied, but maybe, I don't know. Um, so I was going a little bit more for that color, but maybe on camera it might look the same. I don't know. It just feels it is a little bit more towards the red when it's on the lips. Maybe I have to build it up more, but that is what I have on my lips. And this is it. We made it through. I hope you enjoyed. I'm not going to try to drag out this video much, much longer. So uh, yeah, I had fun. I love the look. I'm going to go and film my new makeup releases video after breakfast. <laughs> So anyway, if you are new here, then please subscribe to, to my channel. I hope I will ever get out this sentence without stumbling over the word subscribe because it's really, really hard for me to say. And besides that, go ahead and sparkle in honey and in yellow and in brown and in any other color you ever want to be because it's all right there. It's all possible. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you here next time for my next video. And up until then, hugs and kisses. Bye.